Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Erica and I'm so glad that you are here for today's video because it is time for another Freshie related video. So if you saw that last small business vlog that I posted, I got a huge Amazon haul of Freshie supplies and I even said in that video how excited I was to try out all those new Freshie molds and supplies and that I'd probably test them out in the next video. Well, it's the next video and we're going to be testing out all of those Freshie supplies that I just got. So if you're ready to watch me make some gorgeous car Freshies, then keep watching. All right guys, so here is everything that we're gonna be using today. Aside from this small section of stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby, everything else on this table is from Amazon and I unboxed all of this new stuff in the last video I posted. But there are a couple of molds I'm gonna be using today that I already had, but I also got these off of Amazon, so I thought it would be okay to include it in this video as well. But I got some fringe off of Amazon, some beautiful daisy flower ribbon, turquoise pebbles, some gorgeous holographic chunky glitters, and a ton of freshy molds. So I will be sure to link everything in the video description for you guys. So needless to say, I'm so stoked to try out all of these freshy supplies. So let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, guys, so the 14-minute timer just went off, so let's check this freshie. Uh, it looks really close, but let's check. Okay, you see how the beads are kind of pulling up with my finger? That means that the freshie is not ready and it needs to continue to bake. So we're going to put it back in the oven, set a timer for like two minutes, and then we'll come back and check it again. All right, so that timer just went off again, so let's check to see if it's done now. Okay, the beads are not sticking to my finger at all, so it's good to go. And while this freshie is still hot, I'm just gonna take this metal spoon here, and I'm just gonna go around and push down all of those jagged, spiky edges so that I don't have to trim them later. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna let it completely cool down before we're ready to demold it. All 
All right, guys, so while these freshies are still hot, I'm going to go around with my spoon and push down all of those jagged edges real quick. And you'll notice that I didn't put any nails in these. Since these are so slim and small, I thought these would be super cute vent clip freshies. So I'm going to add some vent clips to these. Now I've used hot glue for my vent clips before. I've used like the E6000 glue, but instead of doing that, I'm just gonna take the vent clip and I'm just going to press it really good in there while the beads are still hot so that they can kind of conform around that vent clip. And now I'm gonna let these cool like normal and we will demold them when they are completely cool to the touch. My thought was to do a like matching car freshy vent clip set. And I already had a few of these Boss Babe ones left. So I was like, oh my gosh, this would go perfect with those molds. Because this is like one of the designs that I did and it has a lightning bolt and the leopard. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a lightning bolt and a leopard, that's perfect.
All right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave you guys today. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did like it, please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Let me know which freshie is your favorite. Don't forget, I will link all the supplies that I used today down in my video description for you guys. And if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed to my channel, then make sure you click that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on my future videos. I would greatly appreciate the follow. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.